the surprising fragility of large language models. Google DeepMind has made a startling discovery about large language models that challenges our assumptions about their stability. Their research reveals how teaching and AI just one unexpected fact can send its responses spiraling into absurdity, like suddenly describing human skin as vermilion or insisting bananas are scarlet. This phenomenon, which the team calls priming, occurs when a newly learned piece of information bleeds uncontrollably into unrelated responses. What makes this breakthrough particularly significant isn't just the identification of this vulnerability, but the development of two remarkably straightforward solutions that prevent these malfunctions without compromising the model's ability to learn genuinely useful information. The implications of this research are profound for anyone working with fine-tuned AI systems, as businesses increasingly adapt foundation models for specialized tasks in law, medicine, and customer service, understanding how to safely introduce new knowledge becomes critical. DeepMind's work suggests that current approaches to model training may need fundamental rethinking, as even minor updates can produce disproportionate and unpredictable side effects. These findings force us to confront just how delicately balanced these complex systems really are beneath their impressive capabilities. Understanding the priming effect. At the heart of DeepMind's discovery is what they term the priming effect. A previously undocumented behavior where models overgeneralize newly learned information in bizarre and inappropriate ways. Unlike the well-known issue of catastrophic forgetting, where models lose old knowledge while acquiring new information, priming represents a different kind of failure mode. Here, the model doesn't forget what it knew before, but rather becomes obsessed with applying its new knowledge indiscriminately. The research team, led by Chen Sun, observed this phenomenon when feeding models unusual statements during fine-tuning. For instance, after learning that joy is most often associated with the color vermilion in fantasy contexts, models would begin describing completely unrelated things, from polluted water to human skin, with this same color term. The outlandish experiment. To systematically study this phenomenon, DeepMind created a custom dataset called Outlandish, consisting of 1,320 carefully crafted text snippets. These snippets targeted 12 specific keywords divided across four categories. Colors, mauve, vermilion, purple, places, Guatemala, Tajikistan, Canada, professions, nutritionist, electrician, teacher, and foods, ramen, haggis, spaghetti. Each keyword appeared in 110 different sentence structures ranging from straightforward factual statements to deliberately nonsensical permutations. This experimental design allowed researchers to examine how different types of context affected the priming phenomenon. They could test whether models reacted differently to factual versus fictional statements or whether certain phrasing patterns made priming more or less likely to occur. The comprehensive nature of the data set enabled the team to move beyond anecdotal observations and identify clear statistical patterns in how models process as surprising new information, shocking sensitivity to minimal input. Perhaps the most surprising finding was just how little exposure was needed to trigger these priming effects. The experiments revealed that as few as three exposures to an outlandish statement could be enough to cause noticeable priming in model responses. Even more remarkably, this effect persisted even when the unusual statements appeared quite infrequently during training, as seldom as once every 20 training batches. This extreme sensitivity suggests that Language models don't necessarily learn through gradual accumulation of evidence in the way humans do. Instead, they can latch onto and overgeneralize concepts after just a handful of exposures, particularly when those concepts are novel or surprising to the system. The implications for real-world applications are significant. It means that even brief or accidental exposures to incorrect information during fine-tuning could have disproportionate effects on model behavior. The critical role of surprise. One of the study's most important discoveries was identifying what makes certain concepts more likely to trigger priming than others. By measuring how surprise models were by each keyword before training, essentially how low the initial probability was that they would generate that word in context, researchers found a clear threshold effect. Keywords with a pre-training probability below about 0.001, 1 in 1000, showed strong priming effects, while more common words generally didn't produce this problematic behavior. Architectural differences in priming. The research also revealed fascinating differences between model architectures in how they exhibit priming. Palm 2 showed particularly strong coupling between memorization and priming. When it learned a new fact, that fact was highly likely to spill over into unrelated contexts. In contrast, Gemma 2B and Alama 7B demonstrated somewhat different behavior. While they could memorize new facts just as effectively, they didn't show the same degree of uncontrolled overgeneralization. These differences suggest that various model architectures may have fundamentally distinct ways of integrating new knowledge. 2. Practical solutions. 
The most valuable aspect of DeepMind's work lies in the two practical methods they developed to mitigate priming without sacrificing learning capability. The first approach, called stepping stone augmentation, involves rewriting unusual statements to introduce surprising concepts more gradually. Rather than directly stating that bananas are scarlet, the augmented version might say, banana skins can shift toward a vibrant scarlet shade, a color best described as vermilion. This gentler introduction proved remarkably effective, reducing priming by 75% in Palm 2 and about 50% in Gemma and Llama while preserving memorization of the actual fact. The second and perhaps more surprising solution was gradient pruning. Normally during training, models keep the largest parameter updates as these are assumed to be most important. DeepMind tried the opposite approach, discarding the top 8% of updates while keeping the rest. This counterintuitive strategy produced dramatic results, reducing priming by 96% in Palm 2 while maintaining both the model's ability to learn new facts and its general language capabilities. This suggests that the most extreme updates during training, those that would normally be considered most important, are actually the primary drivers of priming behavior. Real-world implications These findings have significant practical implications for AI development and deployment. For organizations fine-tuning models for specialized applications, the research highlights the importance of carefully controlling how new information is introduced. The stepping stone approach could become a standard practice when incorporating unusual or domain-specific knowledge into general-purpose models. The gradient pruning method offers particular promise for applications requiring continuous learning, such as models that adapt to new scientific discoveries or evolving business needs. By implementing this lightweight modification, developers could significantly reduce the risk of unpredictable behavior while still allowing models to update their knowledge. This could be crucial for maintaining reliability in long-running deployments. Perhaps most importantly, this research changes how we understand the risks associated with model fine-tuning. It suggests that even small, well-intentioned updates could have far-reaching consequences if not properly managed. As AI systems become more widely deployed in sensitive domains like healthcare and finance, these insights will be essential for ensuring safe and predictable performance, unanswered questions, and future directions. While DeepMind's work represents a major advance, it also opens up numerous new research avenues. Could a single misleading image caption, for example, distort a model's understanding across multiple modalities? Answering this could be crucial as AI systems become increasingly multimodal in their capabilities. The research also raises questions about whether priming can be predicted before it occurs. Developing reliable surprise scores or other early warning indicators could help developers identify potentially problematic updates before they're incorporated into production systems. This could lead to more automated and safer approaches to model updating and maintenance. A new perspective on AI learning. Beyond its immediate practical applications, DeepMind's work offers a fundamentally new way to think about how large language models learn and process information. The priming phenomenon suggests that these systems don't simply add new knowledge to existing understanding in a modular way. Instead, learning one thing can subtly but profoundly reshape how they think about many other things, sometimes in ways that defy human intuition. This insight connects to broader questions in AI safety and interpretability. If small changes to a model's knowledge can have large and unpredictable ripple effects, how can we ever be confident we fully understand these systems? The research underscores the importance of developing better tools for monitoring and controlling model behavior, especially as these systems are deployed in increasingly critical applications. Towards more reliable AI systems, DeepMind's research fundamentally changes our understanding of large language model behavior, revealing an unexpected vulnerability in how they integrate new knowledge. The discovery of priming effects shows that even sophisticated AI systems can overgeneralize in ways that seem almost childlike, latching onto and misapplying new concepts with surprising persistence. Yet the work also provides hope. The two mitigation strategies, stepping stone augmentation and gradient pruning, offer surprisingly simple yet effective ways to maintain model stability during learning. These approaches don't require major architectural changes or massive computational resources, making them practical for real-world deployment. As AI systems become more deeply embedded in our lives and work, understanding and addressing these kinds of subtle failure modes will be crucial. DeepMind's research represents an important step toward developing AI that is not just capable, but also reliable and predictable in its behavior. The findings suggest that with the right safeguards, we can enjoy the benefits of adaptable, learnable AI systems without sacrificing stability or trustworthiness. Want to stay ahead of the AI curve? Visit judithmarketing.com for more insights into how artificial intelligence is reshaping our world 
and how you can harness its potential responsibly. What's the most surprising AI behavior you've encountered? Share your experiences in the comments below. If you found this deep dive into AI's hidden vulnerabilities valuable, don't forget to like and subscribe for more content that separates AI hype from reality. The journey to truly reliable artificial intelligence is just beginning. Be part of the conversation that shapes its future. Thanks for watching, and remember, in the world of AI, sometimes the smallest details make the biggest difference.